This is Naveen here. This is just to update you. We are starting a new Selenium Java training batch from uh, 30th January onwards. The timing will be 7 a.m. IST or uh, in US it will be 8.30 p.m. EST. The registrations are open now. We are starting from 30th January 2023. This is a special batch we are starting for uh, Java and Selenium and the timings and everything you can check it here. There are four timings for US. So you can check it accordingly if you are in the EST zone. It will be 8.30 p.m., 5.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. CST. PST and EST accordingly we have set. And for India, it will be Monday to Friday. It will be 7 a.m. IST. One hour session will be there. One hour, 10 minute session will be there. So the first two demo sessions will be, you can attend. Uh, you can just pay by 3,000 or 50 uh, US dollars. And the course content and everything we have designed in a very systematic way. This is one of the best course content you will be seeing on uh, UI automation with Selenium, TestNG, Jenkins, GitHub, Maven, Docker, AWS, various things that we have added with respect to uh, UI automation, framework development, and uh, some really, really complex use cases also we are going to cover that. But if you are coming from non-IT background or manual testing background or non-programming background, it's absolutely uh, good to go with this course because we are going to talk with Java initially. So around 20 to 25 sessions only for Java and all the core features of Java along with the object oriented programming concepts along with the real time use cases that we use the actual use of Java properly along with some really good programming questions that we are going to solve and then only we will start Selenium but in Selenium also it's a very special thing all core features of Selenium browser specific web element specific you will make perfect in XPath and CSS selectors all the located strategies weight and everything will be covered over here and then we will learn how to create the utilities we don't use the raw selenium things in real-time projects we create utilities on top of that we create wrapper and the functions on top of that so how to use them everything will be crystal clear during the training this is what we learn uh, this is what we do in real-time projects like that and then some various complex use cases that we uh, i have actually added over here you can see that locators element identifications web table checkboxes radio buttons inside a table selenium weights alerts which is actions classes browser profiling and some really complex ui scenarios like edx component calendar handling complex calendar handling web table with pagination infinite page loading shadow dom svg frames iframes pseudo elements page weight custom use cases element weight custom use cases everything i have added these are very important for interview point of view this will help you to handle react based and angular based based application also so those things also we are going to cover so once these things are done then we are going to talk about testng and advanced selenium framework we are going to cover one end-to-end -end project on automation framework that project you can easily justify your experience and your knowledge in automation with this project this is a complete real-time live project on one complex e-commerce application, one shopping application we will pick. And then we will uh, cover the one hybrid framework, which will uh, cover almost everything with respect to data-driven, hybrid approaches, custom utilities. We are going to use Maven build, object repositories, page objects, page factory, everything we are going to use. How to use TestNG along with that <clears throat> and how to generate the report like extend report, LR report, TestNG report and various other HTML report, how to attach the screenshot and everything we are going to talk about in this entire framework. How to design the right test cases, page object model, what are the rules are defined for the page object model, how to write the positive and negative test cases properly in the real time projects. This is how we are going to talk about it. Then we have added some extra favor because the framework development is not the only thing. After that, you have to make sure that your infrastructure and uh, your environments are ready for test automation because you are not going to run your test cases every time in your local machine. You have to integrate with the continuous integration servers like Jenkins and you have to perform various DevOps activities also with respect to test automation. So all the Jenkins setup, we are going to talk about pipelines, normal build pipeline, classic pipeline, jobs and everything, blue ocean pipeline, declarative pipeline syntax, ngrock proxy and various things on the Git side also we are going to talk about. So if you are struggling with the Git thing, we will make sure that okay you are getting confidence and you are working with the git as well and then <clears throat> complete maple life cycle that how to run your test cases building the jar file building the fat jar what do you mean by assembly plugin maven deployment plugin complete end-to-end -end maven life cycle and deploying the 
uh, artifacts on the nexus location this is what we do in real time projects along with the uh, docker containers how to create a docker image how to pull the image how to push the image how to create a build and how to run your test cases with the selenoid and selenium grid with the dockerized image how what do you mean by docker compose and we are going to talk about selenoid aerocube selenoid is a very famous tool in the market for the custom docker grid and set up your own browser lab with a different browser versions so that we have a complete setup available and then we are going to run our test cases on these docker containers and then the aws that is for your cloud thing it's not like every time we are going to take our one local machine so we have to run our test cases on the cloud machine so on cloud machine we are going to take aws cloud which is very popular in the market and uh, it's like absolutely great learning with aws with respect to create the ec2 instances ami security group vpc subnets and then how to set up your entire dockerized grid on aws and then how to run the test cases on the aws machine along with s3 bucket or reporting part and email configurations and everything over there and then you will be having the lifetime access to all the recorded videos free code repositories java code important notes pdfs and the ebooks also will be shared with you guys so you can just go through it you can just see the some really genuine feedbacks also from here some frequently asked questions also you can go through it still if you have any questions to ask you can just feel free to mail me and uh, i'll reply you definitely over there so if you want you can register for this particular training and after that then you are absolutely good to go with that this is my email id nabeen animation 20 at the rate gmail.com you can mail me in case of any issues you just need to fill this form make the registration amount and then that's it and then you are good to go with that so that's all for this particular video i hope you attend the training and then um, it will be really beneficial for you guys thank you so much